realize self-love takes a long time and it's not just a once you got it, you got it. So how long did this take you? So for me, like that stuff with TNA, I want to say happened like, goodness, I was probably like, so I get to tell my age on this one. I was like 27 when that happened. And then I was still kind of wrestling. I've been in Tampa. Like I live in Tampa. I've been in Tampa for like eight years now. And that's when I met Jimmy. Um, and so being here was when I really started to notice a change in myself and being able to be strong in who I was and not necessarily rely on like, let me get on stage in like my bikini that I have to glue into and get a $40 trophy and approval from people I don't know. Like, let me get in the ring and make sure that my boss thinks I look good enough for this position as opposed to just going off of my talent and skills. So like it took that long for me to figure that out. So I would say like eight years ago was when I really started to like be able to embrace like self-love and stuff like that. Oh, I love to hear that, Nikki. I think that's very, I think it's very important for other people to hear that, you know, if it's taking you a long time, it's okay, because it took other people a long time too, but they did it. And I think yeah. that that, like, it makes you a part of somebody else's survival guide, so to speak. And I think that's very inspirational. I think it's amazing. You know, um, I, I identified with so much of what you said, and you were actually a person that, uh, whether you realize it or not, you actually helped me get over a lot of the body issues that I myself had with with being called certain things. And, and uh, like, uh, I, I remember I didn't wear red lipstick for five years because someone told me I had a horse face and I looked like the Joker when I smiled wearing red lipstick. Like, something totally ridiculous is that, but five years I did not wear red lipstick. Like, it, like things like that. 